Ukrainian forces continued counteroffensive operations on at least three sectors of the front line on the 13th of July and made gains in some areas. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces continued offensive operations in the Bakhmut, Berdyansk and Militopol directions. In its latest update, the Institute for the Study of War says, according to its assessment, Russian forces lack the reserves to rotate frontline units and without operational reserves, Russian forces would have to fall back to prepared defensive positions without significant support in the case of a Ukrainian breakthrough and would have to rely on existing and already degraded forces. Former commander of the 58th Combined Arms Army, Major General Ivan Popov, claimed in leaked audio that Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu dismissed him for expressing persistent grievances about problems on the western Zaporizhia region frontline to senior commanders. Now, Popov's dismissal over the issue of Russian casualties and reported claims about lack of force rotations further support the Institute for the Study of Wars assessment that Russian forces in Ukraine are likely brittle. The Institute for the Study of War notes Russian mill bloggers expressed varied reactions to Popov's dismissal, though none disagreed with Popov's complaints about problems Russian forces experience on the front.